All right, man, should Detroit Lions fans <clears throat> be worried about Jameer Gibbs' slow start um, to the season? He had a pretty good game against Atlanta, and that's pretty much been about it. He splashed a little bit versus Kansas City, but it seemed that David Montgomery is the back of choice. Now, you got a lot of people on the outside looking in saying that Jameer Gibbs got more juice than him. He got more speed than him. They should be playing Jameer Gibbs a little bit more. Um, usually, running backs don't really have an adjustment period. A lot of times, they can hit the ground running. Um, they can hit the ground running without a big, without a big ass, pro, a big of problem or a big of adjustment period as other positions. So it kind of does worry you, or it seems like it would worry you know people that he's struggling a bit. Um, but I mean, he showed enough flashes. I just think they got a game plan um, for him. But then every week that go by that Montgomery is the back of choice. Montgomery get the carries. You're going to have fantasy owners crying and complaining. You're going to have fans saying, see, this is why you don't take a running back that high. Or you're going to have fans saying, well, the kid in Miami, look, they took him in the middle rounds. And look how he's doing. And look what Jameer Gibbs is doing. So they're going to start comparing performances. They're going to say, well, this is why you take Pierce late in the draft. And you don't spend early draft compensation on running backs i mean you know at this point he ain't even a factor in the passing game at least we say damn at least you know they had a, a a blueprint for him in the passing game i mean he ain't done nothing in the passing game he ain't did a wheel route he ain't did a fade route he ain't did a nine he ain't did a, a whip he ain't did he ain't did too many texas routes circle routes i mean he did a couple option routes but it's getting to the point like uh people getting restless but you gotta remember it's the quarter this is the first quarter of the season you know, when he did take the full-time load, he did it pretty good versus Atlanta. You know, and people looking at, well, look at DeAndre Swift doing in, 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 in Philadelphia. I mean, shit, Philadelphia got the best offensive line in the game, and he's actually healthy. And playing with Jalen Hurts, that 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 makes the running lanes. The, all that plays an important part. Jalen Hurts, you got to respect his leg. You got to respect his arm. So that instantly opened up the off, opened up the offense and give bigger holes and make the offensive line job a lot easier. You know, but I think they got a plan for Jameer Gibbs, and I think what's going. Well, I think by, a lot of this is by design. You know, I don't. I mean, Dave Montgomery is a good back in this league. He a top fifteen back in this league. He was really good in, in Chicago. The ugly, tough turning um, yards that he get, you got to respect him. You got to respect him. The tough yards that he getting and grounding it out, grinding it out, and all of that. You know, you got to respect it. And, um, you know, he good in pass pro. And he even getting out there and lining up as a receiver. He got good hands, too, if you look at his history. So, you know, but at some point, you know, he probably going to start to slow down. And I think that's when they're going to change it up. And they're going to give a second look in the second half of the season. Or coming down that stretch where they're trying to make that playoff push. And then I think you start seeing Jameer Gibbs do some things. You know, is some of it by design? Is some of it by, you know, lack of adjustment? Absolutely. He got to adjust to the game. I mean, you look at B. John Robinson, this is running back by committee. They just got Cordell Patterson got back. They got that Tyler Al Algieri guy. So he ain't, like, literally getting the lion's share of the, uh, share of the load, too. And I think what, what teams is doing is just, you know, building up. And then kind of we get to that halfway point, I think you'll start seeing them show more when we get to critical moments, show more what Jameer Gibbs can do. And I feel like even when DeAndre Swift was healthy, I didn't. I just feel like they didn't do a great job of giving him the ball in the passing game. You know, you talking about drafting these hybrid running back receiver receivers, you just don't want to see things. You know, short and intermediate. You want to see if they can beat a, a safety, a linebacker down the field on the nine route. You know, you want. You know, I like to see Jameer Gibbs a little bit in the screen game as a wide receiver and as a running back. You know, you kind of want to see him do what Todd Curley did out in L.A. in the passing game. Do what Marshall Falk did in the passing game. That's kind of what you envision. LaDainian Thompson did in the passing game. Fred Taylor did in the passing game. That's kind of what you envision in, in his role being like. So, I think at some point they, they will um, they will unveil and reveal, reveal and unveil, or unveil what he can really do. But, um... I think what you're doing, you're putting a load on Montgomery back. And I think what you hope, hope you're going to sprinkle Jameer Gibbs in there. And what you hope to see is down the stretch of that season, what you're going to see is Jameer Gibbs probably have fresh legs late in the season. And then he probably going to take the baton from Dave Montgomery. 
and finish this, the end of the season down, you're going to have a fresh running back. So uh, I think it's been underwhelming on how they used them. But I think, once again, I think that's more about design and a little bit about lack of experience and, and comfortability in his role. So, you know, you got to understand he got to learn pass protection, some run protection. He got to learn the pass protection from the receiver position. He got to learn the routes from the receiver position. He got to learn the offensive line. He got to learn the routes out the backfield. So that that's a that's a lot to be learning, you know, as a running back. You know, routes and all that type of stuff. So he kind of in that Kamara, Alvin Kamara type role too. You know, and I think he'll figure it out, but um, but uh and I think you see more creative stuff coming from it. He tried to do some things uh, last week and put him on some option routes and, and all that type of stuff. So they got some things in the bag where they're going to utilize him, you know, and, uh, you know, the faster him and Jameson Williams get caught up to speed, the easier the offense is, the easier the offense is going to be. The offensive line is going to have an easier job. The rest of the backs receivers are going to have an easier job. They are the explosion in the offense. They are, they are, they are the, the stars of the show. They the guys that got <clears throat> they the guys that got speed to burn. You know, that's the guys that can that can turn that can turn the game, you know, turn the turn the game in one play, one touch, one pass, one reverse. They the ones that can take the top off and you gotta respect their speed and, and back up and allow Laporta and Say Brown and everybody else to do what they need to do underneath. So um you know gotta change my watch band so yeah we'll, we'll see what happens there but uh, i'm not i'm not concerned you know david montgomery handling this business um you know back healthy and i think down the stretch run of this season i think you start seeing them especially you know when they're making a playoff push or they get into the they get into the playoffs you start you start to see them do some more razzle dazzle things with uh with Jameer Gibbs. That's what I think. I think you'll start seeing them do more rise with Dazzle. They'll start showing more and showing a different wrinkle. So Ben Johnson always keep one in the one in the cut, one in the clip. I mean one in the chamber. So that's one thing I like about him. So he got some creative ideas how they gonna use him. They knew how they was gonna use him. They knew how they was gonna use him when they drafted him. Before they drafted, they knew how he was gonna use him. So Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, we go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel, cash app, bell sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description, hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Pocket, which is Spotify and Anchor, I'm sorry. Hit the link tree, you can find me everywhere, peace.